Relationships can be challenging, but help is out there. Therapists Karima Cornelius and Beverly Rouse are here to tell us about the benefits of couples counseling, next on Wellbeing Matters. MCPS colleagues, thanks for tuning in. There's been a spike in separation and divorce since the pandemic. Now more than ever is the time for couples counseling. With us today is Karima Cornelius and Beverly Rouse, therapists who specialize in working with individuals, families, and couples. Beverly, Karima, it's a pleasure to have you with us today. Thank you for having us. So what are some of the reasons people see couples counseling? There's so many reasons why couples see couples counseling. Oftentimes, they've experienced some level of stress in their relationship for over seven years before they actually seek counseling. Uh, they could be looking for help in terms of communication skills or even trying to repair um, their relationship after infidelity or just being distant emotionally after um, the stresses of the world. Right, and there are also issues where we see couples for finance challenges, as well as the communication challenges that they may be experiencing because the maybe the financial challenge exacerbates um, every other challenge that may show up. Interesting, um, any, any other reasons why you find people, um, you know, seek your services? Whew, <laughs> that's a loaded question. <laughs> it could be from family dynamics especially for blended families. It could be some challenges with just uh, communicating. Sometimes it's just a reset. Sometimes mm -hmm. it's, it's like, we're good, but we may need, feel we may need a little tweak here or there. You know, we see a variety of couples and let's first also define what couple is. Couple does not mean a monogamous, heterosexual, straight couple. Couples also are LGBTQ+, plus. couples are non-monogamous, couples are have other challenges that they may need to discuss. So when we talk couples, we actually are talking relationships. And overall, they just want to feel more connected and more alive with each other. Absolutely. And so what are the benefits of couples counseling? Better communication. Um, Resolving long-standing issues. Yeah, learning to identify expectations, um, learning to how to express yourself within the relationship. Many times what we're finding is that uh, people do not know how to really state what their needs are um, without sounding accusatory or judgmental. So sometimes the benefit of counseling is to get some assistance with that. And requesting your needs is so important. It's different from demanding what it is that you want. Mm -hmm. yeah. You get a different outcome. I would think so. And so um, I'm wondering um, about the cultural barriers that um, some may have in terms of accessing counseling or seeking out couples therapists. Well, from a cultural standpoint, we are African-American therapists, um, also Caribbean, and there's been a historical implication that we typically don't seek counseling or therapy. We usually go to college members or to family members, but it's becoming more and more common for other African-Americans to seek counseling, um, but there has been a reason why. Right, there's a stigma within the community of um, seeking support medically anyway. Um, there have historically been some challenges, um, there's a misunderstanding of what therapy is. A lot of times, many people think that therapy means medication um, and there's a fear of medication uh, usage uh, because it's been overly prescribed. There's also a fear of understanding um, of specific needs or specific differences within the African community, African-American community, which may not present the same way as it presents and non-people of color. So we do want to make sure that people feel a level of trust when they seek um, all these different services because I can understand talking about very private matters, it's uncomfortable, but it's important mm -hmm. for them to find someone they connect with mm -hmm. and they feel a level of trust and comfort sharing their 
private matters with. And Beverly and Karima, you know, what can people expect in a couple session? Well, they can expect the non-judgmental room. Absolutely. Um, when you show up to couples counseling, we meet you where your need is. Um, each one of us practices what we call cognitive behavior therapy. However, we may have different approaches. We also continuously keep ourselves informed. We're continuously learning. We're continuously learning different innovative approaches towards therapy. So in a therapy room with us, you are going to get someone who is non-judgmental someone who is listening to what your needs, specific needs are, and someone who is really interested in you getting the help and the support that you need as individuals, but also what you need as the couple relationship as well. In addition, I've also been learning more about imago therapy, um, relationship therapy, and that also helps with relationships in terms of removing the biases, removing the defenses and getting couples to really be able to be present with one another and to be able to then be able to connect and to heal and to grow together. So it sounds like uh, both of you really work to create quite a safe um, environment where both parties feel comfortable. Absolutely. Absolutely. Especially in a positive environment where everyone feels safe to share what's on their hearts. Right. And so any number one tips for, for all couples that you might have? I know a loaded question. <laughs> <laughs> I always tell my couples to come in with an open heart and an open mind. It might be difficult at first, especially hearing things that they have not been able to resolve, but it's necessary for them to be able to, to grow and heal, to have that, that moment to just be able to hear what each other has that they've been dealing with for so long, but to stick with it. Right, and in addition to that, I teach my couples to breathe. Um, breathe before you speak. And when I say breathe, I mean take a deep yoga breath, which means deep breathe in for four seconds, hold it for four, breathe out for four. If you can do that before you speak, it'll give your brain the opportunity to slow down. And also it will take any venom out of your response, especially if you're having a difficult conversation. So breathing is important. And in addition to that, be curious. Um, sometimes we stop being curious about our partners. We feel like we know everything because we've been together for so long. We're making assumptions. We are not really seeking to understand our partners. So be curious. I like that, Beverly. That's a great idea. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Uh, Beverly and Karima, it has been a pleasure to have you on Wellbeing Matters. We really thank you for your time today. Thank you. And we appreciate the invite and the opportunity. Sure. So that's all the time that we have for today, but Karima will be back soon to discuss couples and communication. Please remember the Employee Assistance Program is here for you and your family members. We offer no cost confidential counseling and referrals to providers like Karima and Beverly. Thank you for watching Wellbeing Matters and be well everyone.